Hey there everybody, it's Shadow Sonic! Here with what should be the last normal episode of the LP. In the last episode, we took care of the entirety of Creme Croc Industries, Inc. And in this one, if all goes according to plan, we'll be dealing with Chip Caverns and the final boss. Now... The first bonus is right there. Hard to see even for me. But I know it's there, so I keep doing it. There it is. And... Alright, DK. Let's get him on, shall we? Now, funny story I should mention. I was record trying to record this just a moment ago, got through the first few levels, then noticed that I had forgotten to turn the microphone setting on for my headset. Obviously, I had to restart the recording. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, but don't worry, you didn't miss any funny fails or anything like that. So... Just me doing a level that I've done over again. Last time I did it perfectly, and this time I did perfectly too, and why am I not able to get that? I'm still not certain. Doesn't matter though. What does matter is that we're getting pretty close to the end of the level already. Well, maybe not pretty close. More like almost up to the halfway point. What you're supposed to do is push that tire over, but a good roll jump will fix that problem. I think that's the only barrel that decides to destroy itself. And there's the end, and full life. Alright, now, in case you're wondering why Anthony hasn't said anything yet, he's kind of busy doing his little homework assignment of playing through Rhythm Heaven Fever. I'm actually not sure how far he's gotten along yet. Hmm. He's supposed to report back to me once I finish the Let's Play. Oh, that barrel is a little shortcut to get you past that point. Obviously, if you want the G, you can't take that, but I kind of did. It's not like this is a speed run. Although, at the rate I'm going, I might actually beat my old time. Which is... Which would be pretty incredible, because, well... Alright, let me explain something. As you may or may not have noticed, or even known, prior, in this game, you don't have to complete the bonus areas in order to get credit for them. In order to get credit for them. Sorry. <clears throat> you only have to enter them. So, for my best time, I tried to take advantage of that. And got a time of, well, you've probably noticed it by now, 1.45. Ow, darn it. Now, this time, because I'm just doing a Let's Play, I haven't been trying to rush, and so I've been trying to complete some of the bonus areas. So if I were to beat my old time, that would be... pretty dang impressive. I 
No, Rambi, come back! Ow, oh, Rambi! Last time I actually managed to make it to the end with him. But not this time. Okay, what you want to do is break that. And there, the camera helpfully scrolls to the bottom so you don't accidentally run into a beaver. And there's another bonus area. Okay, come on. this one. Excellent. Alright, so there's the first level. Well, no, actually, the second level. What am I thinking? Ah, now it's time for the Misty Mine. Why do I have Donkey Kong out front? I don't know. Ah, now the Misty Mine has a bunch of these enemy spawning barrels. And the idea... is to blow them up with TNT barrels, sometimes. Now, nope, that was an accident. But, not one that matters much. I didn't mean to get that, but it looks to show how to. Alright. Alright, now for the... No, this isn't the tricky part yet. What? I wasn't supposed to do it like that. Uh, this is going to make getting the last bonus so much harder. Hmm. Unless, of course, I just screw up. Donkey out front in case I get hit again. Alright, there we go. Oh, oh, whoa! Dang it! Screw it up again! And I can't claim that I did better the first time because... Because of the point I noticed the... Audio wasn't capturing for the commentary was... Right before I entered this level. So, yeah. Oh, and uh, in case you're wondering why everything looks fuzzy, and kind of faded, cloudy, that's the game. It's not the capture card, it's the game. It's supposed to be atmosphere, or something like that. Ah, here we go. Now this one... You want to descend down, down, down to the bottom. And we have a rope challenge. A rope challenge that holds all four of the Kong letters. And Expresso, who is more or less useless in this level. Unless, of course, you want to get that Expresso token. Which I do not. Or you could also use her to get past this segment. But, again, I don't want to use her that way because this is needed for a bonus. And that's a pretty hard bonus to get into. Don't want tokens! <sighs> diddy, diddy, diddy. You'd be... you'd think he'd be used to that by now, but... No, apparently he's not. Alright. Now, 
we're almost done with the level because we see that armadillo. And there's a lot more of them. And finally we have this long section of snakes. Well, not long, just an interesting section of snakes, I guess. Ooh, loopy lights. Remember the stop and go place? Well, think that level, except instead of enemies moving, being able to attack, it determines whether the lights are on or off. Button spam! Especially helpful here when it's harder to see. <laughs> Alright. Now, it's a little dim here, but obviously that's the case. I mean, it it's the loopy lights level that place is pretty dark. I have no clue what you'll be able to see here. But I can tell you that the Kremlings in here are all of the purple variety. That means they jump when you jump. So be aware of that. I was kind of worried about that jump. Excellent. Push the tire over here. Use it to... Get in there. And bonus. Deal with that. Now here we have the sparrow. Don't want to pick up this barrel yet. Instead, you want to kill the Neki first. Then you want to pick up the barrel. Go over here and drop it down. Now deal with this clap trap, and then use it to bust open the wall. This was the very last bonus area I ever found in the game. So, yeah, mostly because the guide was a bit unclear. It made me think that I had to take the barrel all the way to the end of the level or something like that. Okay, now it's just a section with some bees, which are pretty easy to see as far as this level is concerned due to their eyes. Ooh. A Mankey Kong. That's kind of tricky to get around. And a stealth claptrap at the end of the level. But we cleared it. And so we have only one more normal level to go. Platform Perils. Now these crushes... Not even Donkey Kong can kill them without a barrel. So, yeah, guess what this level's major theme is going to be? And another perfect run of that bonus level type. Okay. Now this level deserves to be the final level of this game. It is that tough. Not to say that I expect to die on it, but it's pretty dang difficult. Ooh, that was close. Close to. Okay, now, be careful, be careful, be careful. There we go. <sighs> be careful here, too. And halfway point. I did not expect that to kill the bee. 
Anyway... The idea, obviously, is to get onto these- No! I didn't tell him to roll there! Well, at least the platform... At least I wasn't too far b back in the level. Right? Worrying at first? Ah, uh -uh. didn't need to touch any of those. No. Let's just write that down. There we go. Another life that I don't really need. Now, these guys. This entire section, they're going to be on all these platforms. Obviously, I need to knock them off. Otherwise, there's not going to be enough room for me to survive. Okay. And that's a little tricky, too. Now, this last platform has a beaver. I don't know why, but... It does. I guess maybe as a tip-off that it's there's supposed to be a bonus area. Ah, one last Guarde token in the game. It's in this one, but I'm picking wrong. Knew it. Okay. Exit cleared, and... Now it's time for Neki's Revenge. Now this boss is exactly like the one back in Monkey Mines. With one exception. He'll spit as many nuts as you've hit him plus one. So this time three because I've hit him two times. Then one, two, three, four. Five hits to beat him. I guess I should have expected that since most of the other bosses have only taken that much. Alright! Now, Gangplank Galleon, this is not a world, this is just one boss. King K. Rule. He tosses his crown, he jump on him. Simple as that. And don't touch him unless he's vulnerable. This time he'll charge twice, and that should have worked, but it didn't. Alright, jump, and jump, and jump. There we go. First phase down. Now he'll cause a rain of cannonballs. Wait until the sound dies, ready yourself, and then he'll do that. Fall twice. Which I like to follow as it gets closer to him. And then jump on him again. Now this time the rain will happen three times. Wait, this can't be right. I mean, this is made in the real world. These are just fictional characters. I mean, what's with that question mark? No, obviously the game isn't over. 
now he has one more trick. He'll do two big hops, and now four hops. Throw it again. Two, one, two, and now six hops. I guess because eight would have been too small. Now he's defeated for good. <laughs> and the banana lands right on his head. Well done, donkey, my boy. Who would have thought a young whippersnapper like you could have beaten that bunch of no-good crumblings? You've made an old man proud. Why, well, thank you. Go and look in your hoard. I think you'll be in for a surprise. I think I know what's in there. What a player you are, donkey, my lad. You've beaten the Kremlings and found absolutely everything. You're nearly as good as I used to be. <laughs> good as you used to be. Follies. You're never as good as I am. And by the way, he's he basically mocks you for missing bonus areas if you haven't gotten them all, and that's basically all the reward you get is that he praises instead of mocks. Anyway, there was Naughty, and that's Neki. It's basically just the enemy list. And there's an army. All the colors of zingers in this game. And there's a slipper. Menki Kong, who never makes an appearance again and Mini Neki, who's more annoying than his older counterpart. Now it's time for the aquatic bad guys, like the Bite Size, the Croctopus, the Chomps Jr., the Chomps, and the Clambo. Also the Squidge, and the Squidge, and Chomps Jr. And Chomps Jr. and a bunch of squidges. <laughs> ah, more Kremlings. We have Critters, which is why I kept calling them Critters as well as Kremlings. Clumps. Crash. Clap Traps. A Rock Croc. Both types of Crusher. And that's it. Now for the bosses. We have Very Naughty, who is a pushover. Master Neki, who is a pushover. Queen Bee, who is a pushover. Really Naughty, who is a pushover. Dum Drum, who was kind of a pushover. Master Neki Sr., who is not exactly a pushover, but not too hard either. And King K. Rule, who is most definitely not a pushover. Now for the good guys. We have Rambi, Espresso, who never made it into another game, and Guarde, Winky, who never made it into another game, Squawks, who got a lot of use in other games, and now the Kongs. Is it my turn yet? No. It's time for Funky Kong, then Candy Kong. Surely it's me next. Yes, Cranky Kong, it's your turn. And here's Diddy, my favorite character in the game. And then DK. Who is now praising our skills, or my skills in this case, at the best possible instance. And now for a bit of Three Stooges action. A bit violent, though. <laughs> Karma DK. I did this using one life. Entirely possible. And I took less than an hour. Entirely possible, but highly improbable given your pathetic amount of gaming skills, Cranky. I mean, seriously. His... His official record for Donkey Kong... For beating Donkey Kong Country 3 is pathetic compared to my best time. Absolutely pathetic. And now we have the real credits. <sighs> you know, some people would take this opportunity to explain how they felt about the game and 
really have already described that. I mean, it was the first game I ever owned and mastered. Holds a special place in my heart because of that. And was basically the perfect game for me to LP first. That's about it. And I know the credits go on for a lot longer. Aw, oh, Shadow Sonic! Oh, Anthony, I was wondering where you were. My name is Waluigi. But that's not important right now. What is important that I've 100%ed Rhythm Heaven Fever? What? No way. I've only 100%ed that game once. It was one of the toughest challenges I've ever done. It's... No, you can't have done that. <laughs> Just take a look. Oh my god, you have. Oh boy. And yeah, that's how... Hmm. Looks like that's how long this particular LP lasted. One hour and 49 minutes of actual gameplay time. Which, given that... No, stay on the select screen. Which, given that my best time is 1 minute, one hour 45 minutes, and there I was actually trying to be smart about how I used bonus areas, whereas here I wasn't. That's actually... likely the fastest I've ever gone through the game. You know, once you take that bonus level thing into account. So... Wow. <laughs> well, that's it for the game. And the LP. I do have one more episode, which will be a probably shorter one, detailing a few codes I know and showing off all the animal buddy bonuses. But other than that, this game is done. So, I think I've determined what game I'm going to do next. I was originally thinking Crash Bandicoot, but for some reason it's not working out quite well. I'll have to tweak that a little bit. So, instead, I think I'm going to do a game that's very similar in playstyle, but isn't a crash game and thus doesn't have the problem that is keeping me from recording it. Namely, it's a PS2 game and not a PS1 game. So, next time, we'll be going from the old goodies to something a little I'll see you tomorrow, everybody.